Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex from Health Potion Studios. I was scrolling through Twitter and something caught my eye. A LEGO competition using Unity. Every participant would receive a free LEGO Unity minifigure. So, I made a LEGO game and unintentionally spent a month on it and came very close to jeopardizing my schoolwork. I'll admit, I only wanted the minifigure, but I also wanted to create something to be proud of. So I downloaded the starter kit and opened it up in Unity. Having never worked in 3D, it was kind of intimidating. I did not want to end up creating the same third person game as everyone else, so I got to thinking. Now, I really like physics games, so I thought about some kind of LEGO marble game. Thankfully, I was quite skilled with LEGOs as a kid, so it was very easy to Google how to make a LEGO ball. Using LEGO Studio, I built a ball. This first version proved to be too thick to see through, and so I created a new version out of thinner pieces. There we go, you can now see the man running inside the ball. Wait, that's not how a ball works. Now it works properly. I then added the Lego man back into the ball and didn't quite get his rotation correct. With everything now working correctly, I created a new testing environment. But it looked like garbage, so I created new level art and also implemented some ice physics. Next, I worked on bumpers, you know, kind of like in pinball. Whoa, that was actually pretty weak. Anyways, I think these plants are some of my favorite things in the game. I wanted to make them squish when you rolled over them and pop back into place when you roll off of them. I did eventually get this to work, but apparently the LEGO code restricts any scaling of LEGO blocks. So my solution was simple. Speaking of plants, did you guys know I'm currently making a game? It's called Vicious Vine and you play as a worm-like monster tumbling through levels attacking the wildlife. Go wishlist it on Steam and let's try to surpass Danny's game. To save time, I'm going to just list some of the remaining gameplay changes. Level outlines to help with depth. The ability to jump. Platforms that tip side to side. Moving platforms. Rave shadows. And finally, brick collectibles. I needed to still make the game look different, so I started experimenting with the backgrounds. I tried setting the background to the wood panels from the platforms and that gave me the idea to put him in a toy box. Hello there. Oh. Hello. I worked on creating the toy box backgrounds and I think I did a good job. Sadly, the creepy kid had to go. Up to this point, everything was created in the testing environment. I started working on creating real levels. As you can see, I know what I'm doing, which is why I also added a button to skip the bad levels. So that's basically it for the game. You can play it yourself using a link in the description. It features six unique levels with six secret furniture items to find. The goal is to collect the bricks to build your house. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments or by leaving a like on the video. It is very helpful for the channel. Also, consider subscribing to the channel because I like to see the numbers go up. Well, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios!